When comparing ground floor and Fundrise, it's important to understand that they are both real estate investment platforms, but with some differences in their offerings and approaches. One, ground floor primarily focuses on individual real estate debt investments. One, investors can participate in funding loans for various real estate projects, typically with short-term investment horizons. One, these investments are often backed by real estate assets and offer fixed interest rates. Two, Fundrise offers a more diversified approach to real estate investing. Two, they provide access to a portfolio of real estate assets, including commercial and residential properties through real estate investment trusts, REITs, and ERIATs. Two, Fundrise allows investors to invest in a diversified range of properties across different locations and types. Minimum investment. One, ground floor has a lower minimum investment requirement, allowing investors to start investing with as little as 10 manas per project. Two, Fundrise typically has a higher minimum investment requirement compared to ground floor with initial investments starting around $500. Investment structure. One, ground floor. Investors in ground floor typically invest in individual real estate debt deals. One, each investment is tied to a specific real estate project and investors receive returns in the form of interest payments from the loan. Two, Fundrise combines investor funds to create diversified portfolios of real estate assets. Two, investors indirectly own a portion of these portfolios through shares in the various Fundrise offerings, such as REITs or ERIATs. Access and liquidity. One, ground floor. Investments on ground floor are typically shorter term and may offer more liquidity compared to Fundrise. One, However, liquidity can still be limited as investors need to wait for the completion of the underlying real estate projects or seek to sell their investments on ground floor's secondary market. 2. Fundrise. Investments are generally less liquid compared to ground floor. 2. Investors typically commit their funds for a longer-term horizon and may have limited options for withdrawing their investments before the specified redemption periods. Risk and Return. 1. Ground Floor. Investments may offer higher potential returns, but also involve higher risks, as they are typically tied to individual real estate development projects. 1. The returns are dependent on the success of these projects and the repayment of the underlying loans. 2. Fundrise aims to provide a more diversified approach to real estate investing, which may help mitigate some risks associated with individual property investments. Two, however, returns may be more moderate compared to higher risk individual real estate development deals offered by Ground Floor. Ground Floor primarily offers individual real estate debt investments, which typically provide fixed interest rates. The returns on these investments can vary depending on factors such as the interest rate of the loan, the duration of the investment, and the success of the underlying real estate project. Ground Floor advertises annualized returns ranging from 5% to 25% on its platform, depending on the specific investment opportunity. However, it's essential to note that higher potential returns often come with higher levels of risk. One, Fundrise offers a more diversified approach to real estate investing through its portfolio of real estate assets, including commercial and residential properties. One, returns from Fundrise investments can come from rental income, property appreciation, and dividends from REIT and E-REIT investments. Two, Fundrise provides historical return data for its various investment options, which can range from around 5% to 12% annually, depending on the specific portfolio and market conditions. I must admit from my research, Ground Floor is a more intriguing investment vehicle. While Fundrise locks your money in for five years, Ground Floor investment lengths are short term, less than 12 months. Ground Floor loans are repaid in less than 12 months with a 10-14% return on your money.